Cool. Hey, welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. That's Josh. That is also Josh. Um, so we got a little story uh, coming up to uh, this beer we got. Uh, Christmas 2017, which is, what, about almost a year ago? Yeah, yeah almost a year ago. Two months ago. Uh, Santa Claus visit and <laughs> gave me a beer in a paper bag. <laughs> uh, this here is uh, what he brought me. It's right up your alley. Natty Daddy, right? You like the high alcohol Well, beers. sure. So was it a play on Molly being pregnant and you were going to be a daddy soon? Oh, yeah. I didn't know about that. Or I didn't... <laughs> what? I knew about that. I just didn't put two and two together there. So, so yes. probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. So today, yes, we'll be looking at Natty Daddy. Um, it's, you know, obviously a beer that... Uh, um, I haven't had Natty Dad. I haven't either. Is this no. is this classify or does this classify as a malt beverage? I believe it is. Yeah. Is it eight percent? Okay, it's pretty high. So, what we're gonna do? The reviews are great. American malt liquor. What I'll, is malt liquor? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, that's a good question. So I figured, since we're kind of slumming it. Doing a natty daddy. That's, what are you? I don't. That's a pretty broad statement. Slumming it for yeah, could be off-putting to some viewers. Oh, okay. Well, slumming it, I would say to what we normally would drink. This is a lower quality cost, beer. Quality beer. Now this is this is this actual um, um, bottle here. Bottle can is from. 2017. Still has foam. <laughs> so October of 2017. God, we don't need that much. October of 2017. I bet that's, it's still that's fine. That's plenty for me. So what we're gonna do? Yeah, it still has plenty of head. Jeez. We're gonna do a little taste test. We're gonna do a little taste test of this. And, man. and yeah, that's like up. as much as much as a really good stout. There that we're, we're used to drinking. <laughs> we're gonna cheers. We're gonna cheers. cheers. This. I know this smells yeah. pretty good. Smells like beer. Yeah, it smells like a good bush. Schilsner. <laughs> sweet. 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 This is yeah, super sweet. sweet. So a malt liquor is an alcoholic liquor made from malt by fermentation rather than distillation. Beer with a relatively high alcohol content. So, say that again? Made, by, made by Made from malt by fermentation rather than distillation. Okay, so as opposed to regular liquor, but why isn't it, uh, whatever, I don't know. Yeah. So guys, uh, this is from October of 2017, the Born On. Well, I don't I like this. I found, really? No. I found one in this store uh, that is, um, this one has, what, you look up, it was July of the... Yeah. Uh, yeah, July. Born We're going to see if there's any difference. And what's funny to me is that they only sell them in six packs of that. It's not a full tall boy, but it's a taller beer can. It's oh, a, no, they still sell the tall boys. Well, right, 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 right. Oh. But the six pack comes in that bigger 16 can. Ounce. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, all right, guys. Uh, why don't we see if there's any difference with... Uh, I'm, I'm betting there won't be. I, I bet there won't be either. Smells a little dirtier. Less sweet. Yeah. More bitter. I think it definitely more yeah. crisp. I think that crisp That's better. Yeah. He used it. Yeah. <laughs> we we're making fun of uh, the word crisp. Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra always says crisp. Yeah. You know, or like what is it? Potato crisp. chip? You know? Yeah, that's it's less objectionable than the year old one. Huh. And the, the the old one has a ton of head still, but yeah. this one has like none. Well, the, it's not, I wonder if that's a hop flavor that is gone out of it. Hmm. Could be, because it is definitely sweet. Yeah, that old one's a lot sweeter. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the 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 fresher one actually tastes. So if we're gonna judge this correctly, we'll go with the fresher one. Yeah. Um, sure. I don't think it's a a bad tasting beer no not at all you know it's I'm, it's a light beer you know it's not I, something i would go to but it's not bad i tease my neighbor because he drinks those big tall boys and i don't know how he i mean 
Hey. The Natty Daddy? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Like, and I've seen him, like, carry one in his hand and one in his back pocket. <laughs> yeah. It's, wow. It's, it does he do, remember on vacation, uh, where uh, he's like, I bet you'd go for a cold one. <laughs> yeah. and you go, I, boy, I sure could. And he hands you the open one. Hands, you, <laughs> hands me the open one and he goes for yeah. one in his back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So we're looking up natural light and it comes. Um, yeah, it was introduced in 1977. 1977. What, Same year we were introduced. Yeah. That, what surprised to each me other. is it was AB's first light beer. Yeah. Yep. First light beer, uh, followed by Michelob Light was number two in 1978, and Bud Light in 81. Oh, I thought, I didn't realize it was the the first light beer. I thought it was the first for light AB. beer made by AB. Who, yeah, for AB. Oh, yeah. Coors was number one? I don't know. Coors? Um, yeah, I don't know that part. <clears throat> well, I, uh, and, oh, what else was it? Oh, you like that one. It was better than, hurry. than the old one. And Way Natural better. Light, just, speaking of 77, they just released that <coughs> 77 pack oh, yeah. of uh, beer can, you know, it is, what did I look that up? It was in college exclusively in College Park, Maryland, home of the University of Maryland. And it's like the size of a keg. Yeah, 77 pack. I thought they said it weighed, oh, 58 pounds, the thing weighs. So, you know, it's not, well, I guess you could, at least over your shoulder, but I think it's made, of course, we don't have one of those to try, but I think it's it's actually made kind of tub-like. Yeah. So looked, when you open it, you just dump ice It in looked it. octagonal. Yeah. Yeah. Because 77's is not number right. to line up into a regular box. So, pretty crazy they would do that. But anyway, Natty Daddy is, you know, obviously different than Natural Light. But, I don't know, to me it just tastes like a higher, higher grade of Natural Light, I guess. I don't necessarily notice the high alcohol. No, I don't either. No. no. It doesn't burn. Uh-uh. I'm kind of... Pleasantly surprised. It's yeah, better than I thought. Your it was. neighbor was yeah, right there. Yeah. Get one on the way home. Well, it's funny because we had a conversation out in, um, like, in our driveways in our cul-de-sac, and they were talking about different. It's okay. High alcohol content beer from Natural Light. I I give it. Man, I'm kind of impressed. I kind of give it a. I'll go with a B. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot better than I thought I would. Yeah, I think it's very drinkable. I give it a C, but it's one of those things that if if you're looking for a cheap beer to get a buzz quick, this is what you're gonna go. For. And, I mean, I would never. I'm not grading it on that at all. I'm grading it just on the flavor, and I think the flavor is pretty decent, and it's not at all. It's very off-putting. light. You know, yeah, it's not. It's very light, and especially com- for for being eight percent, it's extremely light. Very it doesn't crisp. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember the Bud Light Premium, higher yeah. higher alcohol. That was what seven? I thought it was just six, maybe. But to me, that you can taste that higher yeah, alcohol. You can. This you can't. No, not at all. Maybe it's not true. <laughs> maybe that's not why true. that's why my neighbor can drink multiple. Uh, <laughs> yeah. boys. I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't try it out, but. Anyway, Natty Daddy, uh, oh, I, I'd say, yeah, maybe B, B minus, yeah. somewhere around there. It's actually not too bad. It doesn't get very good ratings, you know, 2.5 on Beer Advocate, which is a poor rating. Um, well, that's Beer Advocate, though, I mean, too. Yeah. this is your macro brew that, uh, you know. Two out of three stars on Rate Beer, 1.8 1. out of five. Your normal craft beer guys aren't going to love. No. Right. So... But there you go. Um, also, as always, check out our other videos on uh, go to beer30.tv or go on YouTube and search for Beer 30 TV. And uh, also check out our podcast, stuckinbetapodcast.com. We'll see you next time. See you later.